it's become cool to hate on string theory lately i've interviewed quite a few professors academics on this show who've had harsh words to say about string theory i've had tim modlin from nyu on the show i've had pascal wallish who said string theory has become like a religion i've interviewed peter white who is famous for saying string theory is not even wrong because it's not even falsifiable so it can't even prove whether it's right or wrong it's not even wrong eric weinstein is popular for saying string theory is brought physics to a standstill string theory is a lost in the elegance of the models you've said in the past that string theory is nothing but a tool and the problem starts when people Wait, start Wait I didn't say I didn't say nothing but you said string theory is a tool and the problem really starts when people start thinking it's the universal answer to everything or it's the answer it's the ultimate answer where do you think string theory is now is it still useful as a tool is it can you still extract more juice from it or do you feel string theory is now hit a dead end and it's better to move on to other theories um string theory well first of all i myself string theory is a tool um i don't not nothing but a tool it's the best tool we have okay okay so many problems in physics have been solved by mapping it into some problem in string theory and then um even in condensed matter physics or um and by mapping it to a problem on string theory see how string theory solve it and then mapping it back been been the most prominent in pure mathematics right so take a math math problem map it to string theory string theory then you use string theory tools you find out what the answer is and then you go back and there are phenomena in pure mathematics and now you know they can see how it works by looking at how it works in string theory and then you can throw out the string theory and prove it from start without ever saying the word string theory okay so you know any theoretical physicist who doesn't know string theory hasn't studied string theory is crippled you know they they don't have all the tools that that other people that you know that other people do um so i think the you know the whole thing is um the whole thing is a little bit i would say kind of silly um <laughs> there there i present a um when i give public lectures on string theory um i have a report card a string theory report card right. and there are various things like um what would you what would you think of string th- what might you hope string theory could accomplish um you know one is provide uh an experimentally verified verifiable prediction produce experimentally ver- f <laughs> okay um give an example of a theory in which black hole entropy that ha- contains quantum mechanics and general relativity uh, you know b plus you know and so i have this whole report card nobody really disagrees even peter white i don't think would disagree with um uh the different grades that 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 i've that i have given you know now um so it 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 is it is what it is it's not nothing and it's not everything and if we want to go into uncharted territory we should know what tools are there for us to use you know it's like uh you know like lewis and clark trying to um uh get to you know get to the pacific ocean and saying you know i'm not going to bring um you know a a muskrat trap because i don't know if 
there's any muskrats between here and Pacific Ocean. You know, you get halfway and you're in muskrat territory and you have nothing to eat. And, you know, you've got a muskrat trap, you're in good business. You know, you're, you're in good shape. Yeah. So um, it's, it, 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 it is what it is. Now, another thing that there's a lot of sociology in all of this, of course, right? So there was a time, and this goes back to that beginning of our interview where we were talking about all the excitement about string theory. People who thought they were ready to get their plane tickets to Stockholm, to Stockholm <laughs> went around saying some pretty extreme things which might have come off as a little arrogant and rubbed people the wrong way. Yeah. And so Peter White was probably one of the people who was, was uh, rubbed the wrong way. Um, but, um, you know, I, it's very interesting though, um, as you can tell, um, I love string theory. I think we've learned a lot from it. Um, I don't think we know that it's the theory of the world. Um, we've learned a lot about, for example, possible behaviors of black holes, mathematically self-consistent behaviors of, 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 of black holes, um, and where will everything will land, um, we don't know. But I think it's all incredibly interesting and exciting. And um, I recently was on a panel um, discussion on the status of string theory, Brian Greene and the World Science Festival. Uh, and I was expressed enthusiasm. I'm enthusiastic. Expressed enthusiasm about it. I think it's a great adventure and it's a privilege to be part of it and really fun. And Peter White at the bottom of the show wrote, <laughs> But at the same time, I made the statement, we're not gonna, we're not gonna have any measurement for string theory. Yeah. And Peter wrote, Boyd wrote in the comments, Strominger has brought string theory hype to a new level. <laughs> now, by the way, he likes the other stuff that I do. Um, and he's said good things about it, which are pretty rare for him to say good about anything. But he said some good things about it. Now, um, what's interesting about that, and I thought about what he wrote a long time, because I felt I was expressing my own personal joy at how interesting it was, how much I enjoyed it. Yeah. Not telling anybody else they should work on it, not, you know. But when I read his comment... It wasn't too hard to imagine. It's a fine line. And it, it's one of the hard things about doing interviews like this. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just going to answer the questions and say what I think and be myself. Um, but loving what you do, being enthusiastic, uh, you know, I don't think I'm telling anybody else to work on what I'm working on or, you know, um, but many people want to. Many people also find it exciting. So I, you know. 